Greetings everyone and welcome back to Pep Organ. I'm delighted to be at the Kincopple Rose Bay Chapel today with Pastor De La Sala. Pastor De La Sala was the sole consultant, uh, the local consultant for this organ and he's going to tell us a bit more about the history of the organ. Well the organ you see here is actually a reconstruction of what came here in around 1905 and why it came here is a historic accident. In France around 1904 there was an anti-clerical movement where churches or other schools were not allowed to teach religion and of course the Sacré Coeur Order founded by Saint Madeleine Sylvie Bagar was there to instruct the girls of France in the faith. So what to do? The head of the Sacré Coeur Order, Mother Mabel Digby, saw to the packing away of all the Sacré Coeur common belongings and that's about 45 convents in France, just that order, and spiriting them out of the country. Otherwise, the French government would have confiscated it all. So this organ was saved. And there's another French organ which came down to Melbourne, a Merclan. So they got stalls and an organ. We've got stalls here. If you look in the chapel behind where I'm sitting, you'll see stalls from the 18th century, if not earlier, and a lot of French fittings. The pulpit, it's all French. Today, you'd not be allowed to carry these things out of France because they'd be considered historical monuments, so we're very lucky. But what of the organ? We have this lovely instrument by Théodore Puget, or more exactly, Eugène Puget, the son, and it was one of his last organs, and it was built in 1890, and the plaque has that on there, and it was thanks to Peter Jukes who saved the plaque when the organ was totally rebuilt in 1960. And why was it rebuilt? Well, the action they thought was very heavy, the nuns, I think, wanted to get rid of the reeds and they wanted to just make it a little bit more useful. So other stops were added. We lost all the original console and this is actually a replica of what we could actually work back from the original, which was mechanical action, draw stops as opposed to electric action and stop tabs. So in around, let's see, 2012, after a long time, the project was finally completed. We went through a few builders for various reasons, but once we started the project, we had to finish it. So, we have here what we can call an authentic French symphonic organ. And why symphonic? Because the sounds are actually replicating the sounds of the orchestra. Franck himself says the organ I have here is an orchestra. So, we'll look at the various colours, and French are very involved with colour. So, the French montre, which sometimes you might think of as a principal or diapason, is a lot flutier, a very different sound. Solitional, a string stop. Not like it's very polite, quite English st style stop, but rather a string of gamba quality. Foot board on. Prestant, which is a principle, it comes from the Latin word pristare to stand in front. In fact, these are actually partly for side pipes, so it's an octave of the montre. Very bright, and if anyone's looking at the console, you'll see that there's no two foot. But really, you don't need such a stop on this organ because what is there is very bright and full of colour. So we can combine a few stops the Monta and its Preston. foundations. So that's 
quite a full bodied sound there just from having the 16, 8, and the two eights and the four. So you don't need a two foot or, or nor, nor a mixture either. No, in fact, it's very bright, very well voiced, and very well thought out. The actual stops bloom towards the treble, mm. so they're full of harmonic development. Mm. Now, how about the reeds? The reeds, we have very, very interesting combination here. Not only an eight foot trompetta, but a clairon, it's octave. And they're in red because they are on a separate slider system. So if I draw the stop out, nothing happens. But I have to push down the ventral, which is called Ange Gontorg. though very loud, can actually be tamed slightly because when the organ was being designed in its reconstruction, the reeds were actually enclosed in their own box. So that makes it much more useful. So I can have the box here shut. As opposed to. You have the reeds basically sort of floating as another récit rather than being on the AC manual. So it's very, very versatile. You can have all the foundations out and the foundations there with the reeds closed. It's very versatile. Very. Mm. Otherwise you'd have the reeds full on and you could do nothing about it. Particularly if you're playing in a work which requires some expression. Mm. So, we move now to the Récit, which is the French for swell. So we have over here, Bourdon Harmonique, which I say is my favourite stop, a beautiful flute. Viol de Gambe, which is a nice foil to the solitional, lovely string. Next with the voix celeste, which is the same scale string, but tuned sharp. Of course, it makes a lovely sound when you have the two eight foots. You combine them to the great. wash of sound. Yeah. On the right side we have two more stops in red, the flute octaviante, four foot flute, which is like a harmonic flute, and the aubois basson, which is an oboe with a bassoon bass. Again in red because they're on a separate slider, so when I draw the stop, again nothing happens until I press the appelange récit. And it combines beautifully with the board on harmonique. Your Passon. Again, it's not one of the polite English oboes, it's very trumpety. what we can call a Renaissance throwback volume in. It's a fraction length reed. We have the English Fox Humana. That sounds like this very thin reed. Often combined with the tremulant or the tremolo, and this one is rather fast. It's not my ideal one, but that's what we had to put into it. I suppose it's sort of pretending it's a uh, Wurlitzer. <laughs> 
I remember the great organ builder and expert Barbara Owen said once to me, let the organ show you how it should be played. So I'm going to obey what the organ's telling me to do here. It's not going to play mixture choruses, it's going to do something quite different. We'll start up here and just work around and see what comes out.